so long of trying. We're doing it without the Prelude Corporation's filter does not like how overpowered some of them are, and I can't say I disagree. But everything else Preludes are on. Here we go. Mining Guild, Tharsis, let's see. Oh, Mining Guild with Great Aquifer. It's pretty sweet. Uh, Deimos down. That's fun. Uh, definitely seems like Mining Guild. I can do like geothermal heat trappers. Uh, Iron Works to get some O2 as well. Um, problem is it's slightly awkward here because I have nothing I want to eccentric sponsor unless I want to eccentric sponsor like in immigration shuttles, right? Which doesn't feel that good to me. Uh, hard to say. Mm. Let's see. Ironworks, Lagrange, Heat Trappers, Deimos, Junior Pair, Geothermal. It's 18. Heat Trappers. <laughs> Make someone very salty if I manage to play it, but I like the energy coming in from that. And then power grid isn't bad per se. 21 for 3 power. That's the average rate, but I think I, I don't really need any more power than just that. Maybe it's dome farming instead. I get a little extra income. Dome farming, great aquifer seems okay. The reason I'm not thinking mining expeditions is because mining operations is because I'm already gonna have more than enough steel with mining guild with great aquifer and the ironworks, so I don't think I want to go that route. Yeah, I guess it's dome farming. It doesn't feel great, but the extra money's fine. It's a building tag to help me on builder. Uh, take that. Take these six. Not interested in the Jove malt. It's the worst one. Other Corpse Tharsis, Anthracite. Which, with Great Aquifer in hand, it seems like a slam dunk mining guild to me. <clears throat> then I take these. And I think I skip on this page, unless I want to take Sabotage. Which is pretty fun, but in a three player without media group and whatnot, I don't really see the value of it doesn't really help me towards any award necessarily and money can be kind of tight as mining guild to begin with especially if I need the power to get my iron works online yeah I think I like these six cards Alright, so Mining Guild, I open up two oceans uh, on the two mineral spots, automatically get up huge production, and then I can uh, geothermal power for two energy. And then if someone play, ha, play, has heat somehow, I'll heat trappers them, and that will feel very bad for them, but I'll be happy. Let's see, if I do that, I'm at 7 steel, 11, 5, 2. I think I'd be like too short of being able to turn on the bumper gen 1 if uh, someone does play heat.
guess filter is a really tough choice. Alright, here we go. Pretty good mining guild start, I'd say. You and the Mai, that's a good one. Nitrogen shipment, interesting. That's not so good. Galley and mining, business empire. Well, some guys got some very good preludes. Everyone did, honestly. They could just do the geothermal and pass. Let it roll over to heat anyway. And there's no need to do anything further. Got a good line towards Builder. Don't think anyone can stop me there. Ten cards. So he kept nine cards. Impressive. You must have a really good hand. Or, excuse me, you just SP'd uh, Ocean? Maybe not. That was kind of weird. Regular theaters again. Alright. So O2's gonna fly. I wonder why he did the ocean then. Was it just to get cards for the opportunity of planner? That feels weird. Yeah. Agreed, Anthracite. Okay. Well, I think Vesta's fine. The other cards aren't very good. It's not great, but I think it's fine development. It does help Saturn a little bit, which is the downside of it. Yeah, I mean, you can go for the early planner, but that feels like you're really sabotaging yourself. To me, at least. Like, none of the rest of us are anywhere close to planner. Ah, uh, the old tardigrades. Uh, I like Plantation. I'm debating about Archaea Bacteria since uh, I can play it and get the two plant production, which has some merit. But Plantation's probably stronger. And it's a plant tag. God, that's awful. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> the real question is, is do I consider standarding uh, two power here to turn on my ironworks? I think I take Vesta and Plantation. A little sad to give him the one income, but it's fine. It's Gen two. It'll pay off. Hmm, standard two energy or not? Standard two energy or not? <clears throat> I think the TR is probably worth, makes it worth doing that. I could also Lagrange and see if I draw something better before I commit to that line, but. I think I'd rather play the Vesta than the Lagrange here. One card for 9 MC is just a bit much to swallow at this point in the game. <laughs> well, if I SP twice private, that's basically costing me 8 more than it should. 
Ah, took my spot. Ooh, he's going for it. So if I SP twice, I'm basically paying eight more than I should, but I get to do Ironworks a turn earlier. So I'm basically paying eight for three production, which is a good deal. But it's also production I can't really use right now with steel. Mm. So alternatives, I just Vesta and Pass, which seems fine as well. Milestones, I'm still not being threatened on the Builder. Terraformer is going pretty quick, though. Yeah, I th let's do the Vesta line, I think, and we'll see if we get some better energy next round. Yep. <clears throat> oh man. I could have used those cards. Oh, he just did his fourth. So yeah, oxygen is going to fly this game. I think with Saturn with 5 Titanium, I almost have to respect the Callisto Penal Mine here. Yeah, that's a fair point. <clears throat> I thought about it as a potential, but I thought the production might be better. Yeah, I think I have to respect the Callisto here, though Comet is good as well. What Joves has he played? He has played Galilean and Asteroid Mining. Yeah, I'm debating on if Comet's better. I, Callisto's better if he has a Molt, but uh, I cut one of them already in the opening. So this is probably the better pick for me than for him. Well, there's my energy. Well, that's how I will turn on my ironworks, I guess. Beam, Mithorium, Asteroid. Ugh. Um, I don't care about Lightning Harvest, so I guess it's Preds. Boy, I think I could get some steel around here, someone, anyone. <laughs> mm, sponsors came back, interesting. Alright, so I am basically have 47 and I need to pay 35. So it leaves me with 12 MC remaining. So I could play sponsors. It takes a few gins to pay off is the problem. Uh, see a one point animal, pick a one point animal. It's my philosophy there. I think sponsors is just too slow at this point. Oh yeah? Yeah, maybe. It felt pretty far out of my line, and then all these Jovians started popping up everywhere. 
Um, Comet is also probably worth keeping. I don't think Sponsors is. So I'm just going to play Beam and then Cry. Sounds good. No, I am buying Comet. Uh-oh. Naked science tag. That's usually a sign of bad things coming my way. And I am not finding these building tags. At least I got ironworks uh, for the future, but sheesh. Uh, protected halves. That's nice. Oh, uh, yeah, there it is. The old AI central. Well, looks like GG. I think Filters got this one. Yeah, with Amos and Beam and Comet, at least Heat shouldn't steal stall too long. And oh, Oxygen's sure gonna fly. So, we'll just see if... Uh, we can manage to beat the AI Central going nuts, but not looking good. Um, I think I need to find this sink for my steel, so I think I'm going to take the SF Memorial. Helps me towards Builder as well. Uh, interesting. Hmm. Could use that science card sooner. Mining area is so good for mining guild. I think I have to take that. Sure is sad to pass on the imported hydrogen though. Hydrogen for you? Yeah. It's close. Ooh, domed crater. Hello. That's a conversion right away. An asteroid first pick, yeah. Yeah, I think that line has uh, merit. I just found two. But better lucky than good, huh? Now I can just do the domed crater in the mining area, and I think I can still afford uh, ironworks here. Let's do the math. So I domed crater for all my steel, basically, and then convert. Then I use the remaining steel for ironworks, then I can do the mining area right beside it for the titanium. Seems good. Crater in the east? Uh, I got. I think crater in the west makes the most sense now. I think that makes the most sense to me is to go right here, because if I go over here, I don't get an adjacency to. Uh,
Maybe I shouldn't greet it. Maybe I should just mining area first so that I don't lose the spot after this. And I can play my ironworks after that. <laughs> okay. He doesn't have the money to put a well he could with industrial center. Yeah, I should watch out for the industrial center. <clears throat> so I should not greed this. I'm just gonna do it. Slightly inefficient when regards to steel, but yeah, he might. All right, and I got builder secured now. That's the other nice thing. I wonder if there's a universe in which I get Gardener uh, before he gets Terraformer. Callisto, yeah, no surprise. And pass. Yeah. Hydrogen might have gotten me Gardener. But uh, this way also got me Builder uh, pretty seamlessly, I think. So it's hard to say. Ho. Oh. Hello. <coughs> well... I sure would like kelp farming, but I can't pass mass converter to filter. That would just be GG, I think. Ha, huh, ants. That's funny. <laughs> These two are so far away that they don't make sense to me, but ants on filter is funny since he's got the regolith. Uh, Indoon played Habs. Mm, I could get hit by cloud seeding here, which would be unfortunate, but I think I'll take the algae since it's got the tag. Oxygen's flying so fast, I'm honestly not sure if it's even worth uh, buying the algae. Is mass a bait here? I want to get gene repair down, so I'm going to say it's okay. <sighs> is ants and algae a bait? Ants is funny, and it is a microbe. I can eat the regolith eaters, so that's pretty good. Wait till he uses it next, uh, this round, and then munch on it. What else am I doing this round? 
got 33 MC. I'm going to play my SF Memorial, and that's about it. I could comment as well, but... And then Algae. With Comet, it's just one away. It's a plant tag. I've got a city already, so I'm interested in getting more plants. So I will take these three. Ants is bad, in your opinion? <laughs> Ants is questionable. But it does get more O2 for me. It's at least one point. And it's a microbe target in case I find imported uh, nitrogen or uh, uh, extreme cold or symbiotic fungus. See, I got six production, he's got five, he's got one. So mine are still not safe to fund. Yeah, and ecosystems too. The mass converter is what I'm afraid might have been the bait. Thermalist and Landlord are actually both looking pretty good for me. the media group. I think I can si say goodbye to my plants about now. But that's okay. I will take my heat bump and then I will play my SF Memorial. Yeah. Rip plants incoming. Hired raiders stealing my steel. How rude. <coughs> my 
mining expedition. That's a good one to have around now. So now if I increase the O2 track and he increases it, I can take it with mining expedition. Uh-oh. A sense of wombo combo being assembled. Well, he doesn't have a way of taking it unless he has a way of uh, bumping O2 another way. But I'm just going to go ahead and do that. Uh, here I'm one-actioning because there's a lot of things that vary. Sorry, guys. <clears throat> Actually, I needed a clean builder, so I shouldn't have one-action. I should have clean builder. But I went like I, uh... They can all take one, and I'll... I can take two, I guess. Whatever. I wonder if he's got an imported hydrogen that he's thinking about using to claim the bump. If he does that, then I might just Deimos here. This would be pretty funny. But the med better move would probably be Comet, because then I could play Algae, which would go really well for me. Asteroid, okay. Alright. <clears throat> so he killed off my plants, and I can't kill off his, actually, because he has protected Habs. That's right. I'm glad I remembered that. I hate they got rid of that little glowing shield thing to remind you that, oh yeah, he's got protected abs. <clears throat> okay, so there's the regolith eaters. Wish I could mining expedition, but I can't. Alright, so let's think through my options here. I can comet for 9, and then... I can play algae for 10, but that means I can't ant as well, which might mean that ants was a mistake after all, but eh, 2MC for it to try. Uh, alternatively, there's no like super rush to playing the algae right now, 
So I could just comet, then ants, and then algae next turn. <clears throat> uh, comet doesn't turn on kelp for filter yet. He still needs one more ocean. Comet turns on algae for me if I want to do that. Convoy from Europa, yeah. But he can't play that this gen. And doing this gets me another TR next round because I'll get the heat bonus here. I don't know. I'm making mistakes here, I'm sure. I'm gonna get this, I think. Uh, I don't know. We'll go here since I'm building in that area. Select none. Can claim my milestone, sell my heat trappers, play the ants if I want to. I think I'm going to always claim my milestone here, just to play it safe. Yep. A lot of energy he's got. That's also a science tag. Could be setting up for Antigrav. I know it might be wrong, but I'm. I feel like doing it. I think it's funny. So we're doing it. <laughs> station. I had two, filter had five, so that's seven prod. That's pretty good. These are all pretty garbage. I think I will cut the energy tapping that does the least uh, hurt to me. And even might take the designed, which is fine. I just don't want the science tag making its way to filter. Oh, interesting. There's no point in going for mayor, it's already at 35, so it's just an easy claim. But this uh, lets me claim more of the O2 track, of which I'll have tons of steel to do it with. Um, I could take the molehole area, but that feels pretty slow. Uh, I'm already going to be getting one TR a turn, basically. Once my energy rolls over, and I got the Deimos too. I'll take it just for NRA purposes and whatnot. Aquifer pumping. Well, it's better than Martian rails. Actually, I don't need to think it is, actually. <laughs> I'll let someone play aquifer pumping if they want to. Not really been a science game out there for us this turn. I think I'm just taking Protected Valley. None of the other ones matter. 
I could take the power of Minoon with energy tapping to be all cute, but I think that's a bad play. The minus one doesn't matter with oxygen going up so quickly. Hmm, so am I desperate enough that I play Lagrange here? See if I can find something worth doing, or do I save my titanium for the Deimos? <coughs> oh, restricted area, that's so good for him. Well, our only hope is that we can end the game uh, quickly before he can uh, really scale up his engine. But I don't know, 15 money production, 5 titanium, I think he's already scaled it up sufficiently that he's going to crush us. But no milestone helps a little bit. Can't fund Thermalist since he's got 7 energy now. And now he's got 7 science tags, so anti-grav could very well be on the way. Pets, okay. Landlord, a little too much under contention, I think. Banker's not even close. Thermalist can't be funded because it's too dangerous. Miner, I need kind of want to keep my minerals, but what did we get off SF? Uh, mining expedition. So it would have been nice, except he had the hydrogen, which might have been why I should have taken it, but I think the mining area has been good too. Mm, I could fund landlord or miner, but I feel like funding is a mistake right now. I think we Lagrange here and hope I find something good. Med Lab, hey, that's a good card. Never punished. Raise the heat. <clears throat> yep, there's Terraformer. Yeah, the anti-grav. As expected. Alright. <clears throat> so if I do this, that's 11. Leave me with 16 left. And I could then play med lab for an additional one, but that doesn't feel quite good enough. I think I like the idea of algae, since that gets me my next plant prod uh, conversion here. And then I can med lab uh, as well. In fact, Medlab gets me two science tags, so I could even plantation after that. I 
interesting. I could take most of the O2 by myself then. Yeah, plantation convert, I like it. Yeah, I'm debating on Expedition. It might be good enough. Six Earth Tags, that's pretty good. I'd like to wait in case Filter plays uh, Kelp Farming here to play the Expedition, but... The other thing is, is it doesn't actually get me any TR here if I do that. That, that's my biggest problem with Expedition. It's because I get Conversion and Plantation. That's two. Then Inun can use his energy to get to 13, and I can use my energy to get to 14. The only benefit of playing it is that uh, my energy can go over to Heat. <clears throat> okay, now that he's done that, I'm inclined to hit him so that he can't use those plants for anything. <clears throat> yeah, I think I expedition him here. It's not great, but it's okay. Hit his two. And that's all I'm gonna do. Yep. <clears throat> Farming and satellites. Whew. 24 production. That's pretty good. Yeah, I have not really found the cards I need this game. I agree with that. Oh, did he take my power? That's funny. Not that it matters, Filter, but that's funny regardless. Alright, well, can't give him I.O. <clears throat> Is there some mad world where I take I.O.? I don't think so. but maybe it's worth it to keep it from cycling in the deck. And if it gets to that point, we're dead anyway. The world where I bought wife in the opener? Yeah. Oh, Dev Center. Hello. That's great. Even the imported GHG here is quite good. Greenhouses leaves a little something to be desired, but imported GHG gets me a TR immediately, and even with the dev center, helps me get TR every gen from now on and the heat track. So that seems like a keep.
Yeah, this is pretty good. I like it. So I don't think I keep the IO, as funny as it is. So first I just convert, convert, and I guess I can do it up by... Mm, nah, I'll probably just do it south here. It's fine. As long as the noon doesn't have birds, then uh, I can, I'm in good shape because I can just preds once the birds start coming. Alrighty, so I'm going to uh, Dev Center now. Get some much needed cards. Tundra farming. Well, you know, it's not the worst card ever. Now I can play Gene Repair and Imported GHG. And that'll be my turn. It's not anything I can fund still. Miners to up and you know difficult uh, thermalist keeps the game from ending, which is not what I want. Scientist is obviously not same with banker. Landlord I could consider, but I'd have to fight pretty hard with these guys for it, and I don't know if I want to do that or not. Any thoughts, chat? Go for the landlord or don't go for the fund. They hit me? <laughs> that seems like a blunder, unless he's playing for second, but still. It's a shame that he had the small animals. I know Filter likes that card. Stupid protected Habs. Yeah, I will lose without it and with it. I don't see a way that I get out alive here. I think it's too risky to go for. <laughs> uh, I am not ahead even remotely. We'll just keep increasing the heat for now. Yeah, I did something wrong with my math anyway. I thought uh, I couldn't afford to fund and play imported and gene repair, but clearly my math was off somewhere, so I think I'll fund it. Sad as it is. Assuming Filter doesn't fund Scientist here or something. Yeah, I don't disagree. Good news is, is with Protected Valley and uh, Tundra Farming, I should be able to get a little bit of uh, counterplay. In any cities that come up will obviously be insane.
Oh, man. Interesting order. Minus three to everything, too. Filter's gotten the best he could do. Yeah. I want to use my minerals, too. I don't know. Funding Landlord feels like a losing play. Banker, obviously not. Miner, I mean, even that, he's just not using his steel. I don't know here, guys. Definitely playing that. Filter will get at least two on Landlord. More probably. I got Protected Valley. I don't know. I'm gonna YOLO it. We'll see if it's right. I uh, hope that Anoon can help me end this game with some big asteroids and a giant ice asteroid. But I imagine Filter has those in his hand and is just waiting until the right time to use it. Let's see where we're all looking at here. Alright, good. Alright, and he even killed some of Filter's plants. Excellent. Spreading the hate. I can respect that. Alright, well, currently I am winning, but I don't think it'll stay that way for long, given Filter's production and card draw and discounts. But there's some hope with the uh, big asteroid being played. Get my heat, then I can uh, heat bump SP Asteroid if I have to, Deimos, to get the ocean bonus. But maybe it'd be better to just let bait it so that someone else gets it. Help end the game sooner, I don't know. I don't know. Yeah, GIA would be really big if that happened. Oh, there's Ice Asteroid. So there's oceans down. Yeah, that does make GIA a little less interesting in being played.
protect him, huh? Okay. He's getting some heat. That's good. The old methane from Titan. Okay. Well, now he's got a good line towards uh, landlord. Uh oh, the physics complex. Uh oh. Interesting. Does he get viral? Okay, he does. So that makes some sense. <clears throat> I wonder if we can end it here. Well, fish is insane. Worms is funny. Commercial district is also good, though, for the purposes of landlord. So maybe I take commercial district <clears throat> here. I think that makes sense to me. No, the east one is uh, Research Outpost, Anthracite. Uh, just take this to deny a point. can let me copy the med lab if I want. Yeah, I agree. I think I have to defend the fund. Robotic is five production. That's it. So probably not good enough. But it's probably still the one to take. Biomass came back. Mm, I don't think I defend the fund like that. Science, uh, I think I'm in the lead by like one. Yeah, it's 10 to 4 to 3. So this does turn on the mass converter if I take the robotic workforce, which I'm not sure is really the card I want to play, but. I'm basically paying 12, I get 5 production back from it, so it's uh, really paying 7, and then I can turn on the mass converter to uh, help me end the game even more if I want to go that route. If the game ends this round, then that was it's all pretty pointless. Uh, I've got four bumps. One, two, three, f four. So then I got one, two, three, four, five left to go. <laughs> so I don't have any way of ending it. It depends on if Teractor's interested in helping me. And I don't know if I can count on that. <clears throat> so I will take this as a hedge. I will take that as a hedge.
Oh, there's the GIA anyway. <coughs> oh man, he had the industrial center too. Oh, it's despicable. It's nice of him to leave the plants there. So maybe it does in this gen now. <coughs> I'm gonna hold off on the commercial uh, center then. I'm gonna draw strip mine. Well, have a miner if I want it. <coughs> Mm, I am going to Demos in commercial, but I want to wait. I want to see if I can get a noon to use one more heat bump here. <laughs> I can't kill his plants with uh, uh, Demos anyway, so it's no rush to use it. But if he uses a heat bump, now the game becomes endable for me. And then I regret taking that science card. Sold a patent. Let's see, he's got 41. And he is, we are tied in landlord. Oh, he hit my plants, dang it. Alright, well, I guess I am doing the Deimos now. And yeah, I'm just going to use all here. Uh, I could take two plants. That gets me to four. But that doesn't let me actually end. So I wonder if the steel's better to fight for... Uh, Minor. I think it might be. I'm gonna go there. <clears throat> Problem is, I think a noon is winning right now. So I think I'm going to lose to him, but I might be able to squeeze out the victory over Filter, depending on how well he can score with his cards here. If he has a Jove Molt, I think I'm dead. I can't afford Valley and Tundra, uh, Anthracite is the problem. I could do Tundra, but that wouldn't get me to a conversion even with the plants. Sell the strip mine pretty easy. And I guess I sell the mass. Oh, next gen? You think it's going next gen? I think Anuin might just try and end it here since he's winning. I guess I sell the mass converter here. I mean, we'll see what he does, but I think he's just going to end it personally.
because he's winning right now. And he'll get another greenery next to his city. But I'm very close behind him. Makes sense. It's filter, it looks like. So that's another two points uh, for him. So now he's winning by three. We're both beating Filter by about 20 points right now. So it's just the question of how many points can he score here. He's got the physics complex, which is obviously pretty good for him. Let's see. Decision time here. Um, there's nothing I can fund. That's just not in the cards. I got myself at sixty four to his sixty seven. And he'll get three more TR if he just ends it. <clears throat> I'm going to lead by one. Yeah, so if we tie with his ending it, he gets those points. I can play the Tundra Farming for two points. <clears throat> and that helps protect me on filter. And then if he standards the remaining heat, then he's got the win, I think. And then I'll be two points behind, I think. I think that's the cleanest way to go. If I protected Valley, then uh, he goes down to two on awards, which puts us tied. And then that costs me all but two of my cash and then he'll still get three points uh, from the TR and win so there's no route to victory there because <clears throat> after he gets the three I'll be Two behind. I think this might be a case where it's most correct just to signal that I am not going to attempt to resist because I'm dead next gen and he wins here. Uh, I'm going to sell two cards. But then we'll see what happens. I think I sell the Preds. And then we'll see what he chooses to do. It might, like I said, I might instead of playing the Tundra Farming, which is one more point, just say, I surrender, I bump the heat, please, uh... Please finish the game. Uh, you win. I get second. Filter gets last if uh, he can't score 20 points. Which he very well could.
Yeah, he, he can use the heat bump and use an action if he wants to. So I've got time uh, for him to decide. But yeah, I think selling all and just us ping an asteroid is probably correct here. Just to signify that I'm done. Ah, that's true. Well, he can use his fish action and then sell a card then. He's, he doesn't have to commit to anything just yet. He already used his fish action. Oh, he did. Alright. <clears throat> he SP'd twice. I mean, he SP'd and uh, did his asteroid. Alright, so he's offering it to me to decide. So he's at 43. Six points. I'm at 38, 10 points, milestones and awards, all looking right. Yeah, I think he's just got it. He's ahead by 5 points. I don't see any way to swing that with what I got in hand, so I'm just going to SP it to show my deference. And then what would he fund? Nothing. He won't fund a thing. Uh, he could SP greenery, actually. If he SPs greenery, then I uh, lose landlord. Then I'm only 20 points ahead of filter. Alright, so if I play Tundra... Then I'm at 12. So I got it 66 to 69. So... Yeah, I'm just gonna play Tundra and then pass... and then sell uh, Protected Valley. I think that's the line to protect myself most from filter. And at 30 points ahead, I think that's the way to keep me safest.
All right, let's see how it plays out. All right, so mass converter was definitely a mistake. The robotic workforce was a mistake, but to be fair, I didn't know for a fact if it would end there or not. I guess it depends on what filter funds. If he funds um, scientist or banker, then uh, that lets me get an additional two points. But even with that, I think I still lose by one. If you say so, Anthracite, the Hydro was a swing, I agree, but I also got the mining area for that, and that generated me, uh, what, I played it in Gen 4, right? So that generated me about, you know, 23 or so uh, minerals this game. That's pretty good. And as you can see, I managed to use most of my minerals, so... Okay, I didn't use two steel. Huh. Well, I mean, I'm gonna get that extra ant. <laughs> uh, <laughs> since he's letting me. Oh, he had archives. Nice. So, yeah, he's definitely got it then. Hydro would have generated... AMC. Okay. So I got 12 profit from the mining area, which also contributed to uh, the landlord uh, getting 5, though imported hydrogen also probably would have contributed towards that as well. Yeah, hydrogen cost me 19 versus 7, so it's 12 MC more. Yeah, 12 MC more for... 11 MC less, so it'd have been a 23 MC point swing uh, to get that. So, I mean, assuming I'm scoring at a efficient-ish rate, that's still five points right there, right? I don't know. It might have been possible. But I'm pretty happy to escape with second in a game like this. If I manage to escape with second, Filter could come up with a bunch of points here.
Yeah, the expedition uh, definitely could have been. I mean, you should have joined me, Anthracite. <laughs> Maybe uh, your guidance there would have swung things. But I don't know. It's tough. Yeah, I think it's also hard. I mean, if I manage to swing, uh, like in the site said, if I can take terra, if I can take Gardener before he gets Terraformer, that's good. But like I said, if I can escape with second here, I'm feeling pretty happy. From Mr. Minus Three Antigrav. Well, we'll see what Filter can do with eight cards. It's quite possible he gets it. Yeah, and that's the other thing, right? Is I let Inun do the dirty work of uh, SPing twice because he's winning. I'd have to come up with another 28 cash to do that myself. Um, though I could have with uh, not playing Tundra Farming, perhaps. I'd still have to find another 12 cash. Yeah, I don't know. It'd have to be really close. But personally, I'm happy with how it all came together. Beam from a thorium astro asteroid actually being okay. Normally that card's pretty terrible, but it worked out in this game, I think. I guess the real question is, is dome f was dome farming worth it over taking like uh, the eccentric sponsor? But then what? Eccentric sponsor Demos? Would that actually be better? I don't know. Asteroid was already played though. Right? So the heat's still a challenge. Yeah. Yeah, me and him definitely had to make an alliance on ending the game. Fortunately, he was able to help out a lot, and Filter did not find the terraforming cards in hand, so that was a blessing. And I had the Deimos, so together we were able to eat most of the heat track up. I guess Filter must feel like he has some line of doing it, since uh, he's doing all this thinking. That's true. Without that, he'd be 3 TR away from uh, getting it. 
But for all I know, maybe he had big asteroid in his hand at the time. Could have played that instead. It's hard to say. It is good to go back and think, though, on if there was a way I could have won, but I don't think there was. Unless everything went ultra perfectly, which I'm not sure it did. He can score 10 points by funding these two, but it doesn't feel like he's likely to do that. Ah, that's true. He did get that 02 bonus there. Hydro would be 3 then, yeah. Yeah. So 4 TR with the asteroid. Yeah. That's a good point on Hydro being 3. Maybe that would have been better than uh, taking the uh, mining area. I don't know. I'm not unhappy with how I played regardless. He's getting close on Landlord. He's got to get two more tiles, which Ganymede Colony would be one, and then if he had some way of getting another greenery. That also helped Anoon out, though, with uh, his pets, so that's an extra point there. Ah, uh, yeah. You're right, I did pass greenhouses. So he ties on Landlord then, in that case. Well, he ties on it, assuming he has, like, Ganymede Colony, which is what I'm assuming. If I didn't need the money back, maybe I should have done it over here to get myself an extra point on the commercial district. But I didn't know if I would need the four cash or not at the time. So, eh. Oh yeah, and also I picked up one of the steel there, so I t saying I got two steel isn't quite right. It's actually, I uh, just had one steel I didn't use. Yeah, maybe that was a small mistake as well, but again, I don't think it changes the result, but we'll see, I guess. Alright, so he still has to make up like 15 points, I think, which is not... Un it's not undoable. He could do it.
15 points for 6 cards and 36 money. I think he doesn't have, yeah, he has minus 3, so he can't play TG and another Molt. He's, unless he's got an investment loan, right? I think Indentured has already been played. But maybe, maybe I'm wrong and it hasn't been played yet. No, indentured hasn't been played, so he could have indentured and investment loan and play two molts, which would get him 10 points. Uh, actually, it'd get him uh, 12, 14 if it's TG, which it'd have to be since I accounted for the two molts. So that'd get him 14 points if he can actually play that. 46, 56... Yeah, it might be possible. One short, he says. One mega credit or victory point, I wonder. MC. Oh man. So maybe he did have the two molts and just barely can't do it. But in that case, why do you play Phobos? Surely that's not better than two molts. Man, if he loses because of one MC, that'd be such a heartbreaker for him. But I don't feel that bad for him with minus three AI central restricted area. His mistake might have been playing the ice asteroid. That just helped us end a little better, though. Actually, not true at all because uh, we had giant ice asteroids so we'd have gotten those points uh, anyway. I say we, I mean me and Inun working together to end it would have gotten the oceans anyway. So it didn't actually help speed us up. Phobos is 8 points. Uh, only if he gets another 2 uh, tiles somehow. Which I'm saying if Ganymede's the other one, then uh and he plays greenhouses, then he's got it I guess. Yeah. Well, Underground City tells me he probably does not have a Ganymede colony. Well, <clears throat> should have gone to two plants, I guess. He gets another greenery like this, so. Should have done that. Or that. This spot ended up not mattering.
So he beats us on Landlord. So he gets one, two, three, four. Let's see, he gets two greeneries. Oh, he had trees anyway. So unless he's got like farming as well. Red suits, okay. Funding banker. All right, so that gets me two points. That helps me. <laughs> All right. Guess we'll see. It's gonna be very close. So let's see. Scores are in. Yep, I beat him by one point. Whew. It's a good thing I went with the Tundra farming over the uh, asteroid, or else I'd have tied there. Whew. GG, well played. Yeah, not even one molt. That's bad luck for him. If he had a molt instead of the uh, underground city, he might have been capable of winning. Well, he also swung Landlord with that, though, Anthracite, which was the point, right? He won, he got five there, so that uh, was a uh, six-point swing on me. GG, Filter. Had TG, but it wasn't worth. Isn't that an eight-pointer? I guess if you're swinging six with uh, that. Um, I think he tied uh, with the underground, without the underground city, so he'd have gotten the five points with us. But he wouldn't have swung it. Yeah, he was two behind before Underground City. Whew. Well, very close then. Escaped by the skin of my teeth there. If you play TG and don't win Landlord, can you still get some of those greeneries? I feel like being only seven points behind uh, there, it'd be, uh, I mean, obviously it's a six point swing, so it's 13 points you have to make up there. TG gets you eight, I think. 
So you have to just find five points from somewhere. If you tie a landlord, that might get you. I don't know. I don't know, it's very close, but still feels like TG would have been the most efficient points for you. Am I going to play with Benny and Filter? I sure wish I could, but unfortunately it is dinner time here because everyone was dodging me all uh, afternoon. Couldn't get a game until now. So I have to say no, but I would love to watch it. 2033. What was I before? I'm back. Twenty thirty six. Alright, so I lost three from that. Not too bad. But uh yeah, I'll just have to call it then and I guess tune in to Benny and Filter play. But uh GG guys, thanks for hanging out. But uh time for me to go eat some dinner.